Hello guys and welcome to episode 16 of my Total War Warhammer 3 campaign playing as Kostaltin leading the Great Orthodoxy to save Urson. Today we are in the Nurgle realm and we're going to be trying to get over to this tree so we can get the blessing in order to go to the fortress. That is the plan. But uh, we can't do that this turn. Uh, we are, however, going to try and wound this fella. Lovely. Goodbye to them. Extra corruption reduction in the province. I like that. I like that a lot. The orthodoxy fears no demon. She's just going to chill over here. We want to keep an eye on them. He's coming down to take out that... Plague Lord. The orthodoxy orders me on. Okay, and he's chilling near Prague again. Totally fine. Right. Over to Fort Stragov. We're gonna pop in the walls here, we're gonna upgrade it. And it's fine. Outpost is available. That would give us zero recruitables. And we're gonna say to Crackadrack take back their home <laughs> go get it <laughs> right ah, relations are inc increasing here this is great discussion. I so we'll make sure to be friends Me. that is really I good stand. actually you stand before the I'm not sure why this happened but I'm happy to get this going because it will for lead to a defense. trade agreement The dragon for better or worse. Right. Anyone else? Reichland, will you trade with me? Greetings Not from... yet. Totally fine. Really good, actually. What I'm going to want to do Lord is have this guy recruit a bunch of forces and then hopefully either defend Erengrad or Salzamund. Oh, they made a camp here. I just realized. It's rude. But Salzamund will have a nice garrison next turn. I'm hoping that the army at Norden doesn't just go and attack Salzamund. That would be a pain. I'm hoping they'll just stand there and eventually, you know, take that if they want to. I don't care. Alright, let's move on. I kind of want to see what Goldtooth does. Alright, he didn't even make it. That's fine. I will just speed up the rest then. Middenheim lost to Solomon. Maybe they'll take it back. Becoming allies with all of these Empire factions would actually be really good for us. If I could just get alliances with all of them, then we could war coordinate and just get them to kill people for me. Oh, I forgot to war coordinate the ice core, actually. I do need to do that. I'm going to do that as the first thing in my turn. Not so mysterious benefactor. Anxious that he will not be remembered after his impeding demise, or impending demise, a geriatric and widely loathed boyer offers to pay for much needed renovations in Erengrad. In return, we must erect a towering marble statue of his sneering image. We will, of course, topple this eyesore once he is in the ground. Extra melee attack for all armies is pretty good. But so is extra 25% income from trade, because my trade income's actually not that bad right now. But I think the melee attack is going to be more useful. So that's where we're going to go. Alright. Let's war coordinate the ice court. Ice Queen of Kislev. We'll tell them to take Frozen Landing. I'm not sure if they will, but... They'll try. Okay, time to attack this army. 
Apparently it's going to be a valiant defeat. I mean, this looks pretty difficult, to be honest. Let's jump on in. I don't know how we're going to get over there and take out both of those armies. It seems really bad. Maybe I should have gone and checked out the gift nearby first. But I don't want to waste too many turns in here because otherwise Goldtooth will get ahead of us. This seems pretty difficult because I am forced to go through these big stacks. Even the stacks in the corn realm weren't that big. Oh yeah, we do get the extra abilities, don't we? Maybe I can utilize some of the ground here. Like, is this... Yeah, I reckon I could probably have some up here. If we do this and just have everything else kind of like behind and up on this hill, I think we'll be fine. Can we just use these lot to tank everything. I am going to move these back a little bit. Those two can stand there. That was a bit too far forwards. I should have done it like predictive, really. Oops. I don't want to get too far ahead of my units. They are going to come around the right hand side there. I'm going to get these to look to the right then. Maybe I can take out the Plague Toads early on. That would be good. Good. Those are dealt with. Let's take out the next ones. And we're going to want to get over to the left side there, actually. I can drop a blizzard in here. That unit on the right is coming back the other way, so that's good. If we can take out those plague drones while they're in the sky, they'll be a pretty good target. Right, we use the timer mock. See what happens. What do we get next? Law of, of Death. This is going a lot better than I thought it would. 
keep the healing going. That's a good idea. That unit is suffering quite badly right now. I need to hit these units that are ranged. Beast of Nurgle is gone. I'm surprised how well my dudes have done. Let's just go charge into these Exalted Plague Bearers with the uh, Light War Sleds. Some magic down on there. Yes. I should do a lot of damage, actually. Yeah, big damage. Big damage. Very good. Very good. Any units that aren't just decaying completely will run down and meanwhile we can heal people up Okay, yeah, I'm not sure if these armies come back, so I just wanted to make sure I ran that down. Like, if they can, you know, survive one battle. I'm not sure. But that was actually relatively good. We took a lot less damage than I thought we would, thanks to the battle map being relatively generous. And I think we used the ability well. I didn't realise it gave us a melee attack at first, so uh, maybe I didn't place it far enough over the melee forces. I think the most damage came out of the Exalted Plague Bearers, which could just like range attack us. We're going to want to take replenishment. Oh nice, we got a bunch of devotion for that as well. Not that I, again, need the devotion. Does this give me a attrition? I mean, I should probably move in encamp stance. It's totally fine. Kneel to Get lightning strike, renowned and feared. A gift Bam. From the bear. All right, that's really good. Now I'm gonna grab guarding call maxed out, and for a patriarch, we're gonna keep going with the armor there. So that got us a bunch more supporters. So far ahead, it's ridiculous. Has this guy got a plague, or is that just... I do not think so. Oh, it's just the local attrition. Right, we're going to jump in here, Only the most and I'll recruit some more dudes. Global recruitment's actually really expensive. I'm going to grab... Just some local Kossars, I think. I would get more Strauzzi, but... Yeah, it just costs way too much. He's fine. Kill them. Oh, that's an eighty-two percent. <laughs> Get wrecked. I will cleanse corruption with him. This one can close that rift. Good. Didn't manage to close that one in time. I do want to close this one as well. 
but it looks like it's too late. Yeah, it's too late. That's a pain. Alright, well we might just lose these then and just have to take them back after we come out of the Nurgle realm. But sacrifices must be made. Give them a little bit. Uh, this guy we're going to move down. I could put one of these actually in the army. Although I don't think any of these are really equipped to do that. Uh, maybe I'll just get another one. Extra leadership when in own territory. That could work. Yeah, if we pop him into Yosef's army, he can, you know, get himself a bear and be nice and strong. Should be good. I should also actually bring back my mage. Uh, this mage, actually, we should start heading back. Yeah, we should head her back. Maybe on the water, might be faster. Outpost available, don't care. How about trade? Any trade yet? Nope. Relations are going up pretty fast though, which is good. What about trade with Reikland? Nope. Alright, totally fine. Max out the walls at Bulgasgrad. Anything else I need to do? I help it. I'm going to put in the walls here. Corruption stalks this land. And looks like all of these are okay. The reason I'm not upgrading these is because A, don't really need any more. Patriarch capacity, and as soon as we get this, I'm going to destroy all of those buildings. I don't care about that outpost then. Let's move on, I think, to the next turn. So, in the Nurgle realm, I'm really hoping those armies don't move, because if they do, then we're kind of screwed, because we're probably going to get triple teamed. Which would be really bad. I should really be watching this turn, but I don't think it matters that much. We're either going to get sieged or attacked or not. Simple as that, really. Future Swarm, are they coming for us? The great bear no. demands your execution. Maybe like a non-aggression pack. The money? The deal is sure. paid. Totally fine. A wandering dead faction destroyed. Imminent rebellion in Nordland. Could be a good thing. Also, where did that Nurgle army go? Did it go to, to Lorenon? sure. Anyway, we're going to want to zoom around here. Oh, the oh, is that Scarbrand jumped in here? Oh dear. I only obey Are they not at war with each other? Do not seek to command if I have to fight Scarbrand... We're a little bit screwed. Just a tad. Let's take out this guy. <laughs> he just stood next to me. Why? <laughs> Why? <laughs> That's whatever. Wounding their agents as they come out. The glory, Jump over here and try and wound this guy. 
We got low chances because they already succeeded in previous turns. Oh, right, they did siege here, which is not a bad thing because the garrison in Erengrad is actually decent, so we can just wipe these guys out and then attack the portal. That's a close victory, apparently. Well, let's jump in then. I don't really see how, because it's basically a ranged force versus a ranged force. They do have magic, I suppose, and we don't, so maybe that's weighing into it. I can't believe Scarpran jumped into Nurgle Realm there, that's so annoying. Especially since he popped out right in front of us, the direction that we gotta go. Oh, I start with all of my forces. That's really good. I think what we're going to do is we're just going to use my reinforcements, like the garrison, and nothing else. I'm just going to keep my main guys out of it so they're strong enough to take out the portal. Unless they're needed, of course, but I don't think they will be. So we'll put them in a second group. These guys can be in the first group. And we can just move them up. Off we go. Yeah, we'll sit relatively close. Just in case. But I think we'll just have this big old range engagement. Maybe I could send forwards my melee forces to engage. No, we are actually going to outrange them with the ice guard, so they might be forced to come to me. Yeah, we're going to move forwards a little bit here. And my ice guard will be firing away, so that's perfectly fine. An effective position. If they're just going to let me hit them, then that's good. <laughs> totally fine by me. Once they get low, I think they'll come for us, though. Yeah, there they go. And now all my other ranged forces engage at the same time. I think, he, yeah, even the armored Corsairs can fire. Probably not a good idea to let them just hit us like that, though. I can't take so much damage. Sons of Kislev! I'm surprised the like leadership got so low on these guys. Power unquestioned! Alright, let's smooth these forward so they're at least in range. 
And on this left side, I'm going to move forward just about, see. Once their sh shields are gone though, we should be fine. Gotta break that leadership. Stradzi should be able to kill those pink horrors. Never mind. <laughs> Don't have line of sight anymore. That's it, that's victory. Good. So we just used the garrison there mainly to kill them. I guess I could have maybe had them using their arrows sooner, like my army, so that they have experience, but I think it's that important. Now, it might be worth waiting one more turn just to get the recruitment and then attacking them. I don't know how big the army is going to be. I, I don't think it's that big, but... That was... Well, we took more damage than I expected in that engagement, like the ranged engagement. I thought we would do a lot better. I'm going to take the money. Boya! Kislev's chosen. He did level up. Get the Root Marcher. He actually leveled up, what, three times? Is that? We get Inspiring Presence. And we're definitely going to do Firing Trails. No other may wield it. Highborn son. Lord of the Provinces. Yeah, that's totally fine. Maybe I can just have this guy come down and do it instead. Let's use money. Do you have a lot of money? Let's go double check this. It's fine. Who called? Greetings. It's fine. Right, Salzamund, we're going to go straight for the next level of walls. I just want to build this up as much as we can. I might pop an Orthodoxy Shrine in here for now as well. There is going to be a Rebellion, and that's fine. <laughs> There's just not really much I can do about any of this. Not whilst we're in the, the Nurgle realm anyway. Send the turn. I need to keep an eye on corn, so let's make sure we see what's happening here. Ah. Okay, well, we must have missed Exiles of Corn. I assume they just moved towards us, honestly. I find it strange that Magoth Kin really wants to kill my dwarves. Father They've got Bear, such a hard on for them. Forgive me. They want a defensive alliance? I mean, it could be okay. 
I don't want to end up at war with too many people who are going to come at me from all sides, especially if I'm going to end up at war with... Oh, sorry. Not at war. We're going to confederate with the Ice Corps. So we won't want Red Eye attacking us. Although I think we might already be at war with them. Ah, oh, they're coming in. Alright, so... I think here we play it out, and we just try and do as much damage as possible. I don't think that we're going to win, maybe, if the turrets do enough damage, but that would also depend on the Sargard holding long enough and them not spreading out too much, because if they spread out a bunch, then we're not going to be able to do any damage, because they'll just take all of the different points and we'll not have enough resources to build big towers. Just want to hurt these guys as much as possible. Alright. How's the settlement looking? Pretty rough. So this is the main section here. There's a wall there. They can get in from so many places. This is really bad. I can block this one. Well, not block it, but we can, I think, put a Sargard here. Maybe I pop up a barricade that gives me, like, melee bonuses. And I'm thinking we use a blocker up here somewhere. It's annoying that this is a downhill. But maybe fighting here is the best way to do it. And meanwhile, we just have these boys up here shooting down on them. Because I can block this, right, and I can block this, but they're still going to be able to come through here, and there's no towers nearby that can really help us. This is actually a kind of terrible settlement. If they're all attacking from the same direction, then maybe it'd work, but... The only other thing we could do is maybe block that and hold here and block this, so they all come round the front here might work but then if they run that way then we're screwed and if these guys come up here then we're screwed how much do blockers cost all right let's pull this back we're gonna do this monument the to help our sargard this is just going to be a straight up blocker. And this is going to be a blocker. And then we'll move up once that's built. For now we'll just chill. If they all come up the hill, 
I don't think that's that bad. It may be worth building a narrow tower. I think I'm going to build a magic tower over here. There are some infantry coming this way. Yeah, I don't know. They are going to send some this way at least, which is good because I'm probably going to kill those. But they're capping everything else. Getting some damage in there at least. There's absolutely no benefit to us being up there. This is a horrible place. I do kind of wish I had some magic though. Defenders of Geesland! Moving! Horse rider. Also, I'm not sure I'm going to have enough resources to build this tower because if they capture the supply location, then that's going to be pretty screwed. That's some good damage. Gotta be careful not to let my Patriarch get too far ahead. Oh, they're bringing over some more men here. Are they just like pushing through. That's annoying. I'm just getting them in melee now. Right, are we going to have enough time to build this? I have no idea. Well, it's just a matter of holding now. This tower gets up and starts pounding these guys. Who knows? Might be able to turn it around, but if these Sargard break or get pushed back enough, well, if they get pushed back enough from the monument, then we're in a bad spot. But I don't think they have enough health to kill all of these. Same here. Oh, my Patriarch's getting a bit low. It's not go, good. Go. Twenty-five seconds on the tower. I might just be able to like charge here and then pull out. I'm not sure if that's worth doing. 
I think we just take a bunch of damage, maybe. Alright, tower. Should time to shine. Please fire. Ooh, there we go. Some juicy damage. It's actually doing lots of damage. Don't do that. <laughs> that was such a fail. And again. That missed completely. <sighs> so annoying. Like when they're hitting, it's doing a lot of damage, but... Just... Friendly firing so much. I'm trying to work out the best one to right-click so it doesn't hit friendlies. about these boys that was dumb could have been doing a lot more damage well maybe I can still do damage if I have these line up over here that might work out quite well I need to target Marauders with great weapons and Marauder Spearmen. That's because they don't have shields, that's why I'm targeting those specifically. Ah, oh, of course they... Yeah, they captured that, so... Ah, uh, that's over then. I should have really had these range forces engaging while they're all packed up there, but... Oh well. It's my bad. Completely forgot they were on that wall. It's amazing how much of a difference... those monuments make. Like, that Sargar... Targard? <laughs> Got 175 kills there. It's really good. Looks like these other units though barely took any damage. Like the Berserkers did and their great weapons. Yeah, otherwise all of these Marauder Spearmen, pretty much full health. I guess if they occupy it. I'll replenish if they don't then it might be worth it uh, no so what we're probably going to want to do here then is just build up a big army in Erengrad and push out from there something writhing Minus five melee defense for Lord's army. Ugh, it's five percent that is as well. Ugh, gross. Patriarch of Kisle. Right, I'm gonna do this because I don't think it's worth the money. 
Yeah, this should be fine. Let's jump on in. So after this, we'll move back to Eringrad and I'll use the money to recruit more troops, probably just more Kossars. And then if Saul leaves that settlement at any point, we can take it back. Should be a relatively simple battle. I'm just going to use the Kossars with Stoutsi on the flanks. Gonna move these up on the hill because need direct line of sight. Taking point. Armored Cossars. Kisles honor. Cossars. It is not. We fight for Ursan. Slay them. Alright, we'll just pull these away so they don't take too much damage. I'll just let my lord kill a few of them. Boys forwards into range of those pink horrors. Ah, look at that damage. The volleys on these are actually super strong. It was gross. We did so much damage really fast. I should have spread these out more, really. Because the magic is chunking us quite a bit. I find it strange that they don't really have like a reload animation. They just kind of chill out and then they're like, oh, we can fire again. Yeah, that's kind of weird. I think that's victory. Good stuff. Nice. Well, that's going to be the rift gone. And we got some extra money for winning the battle. So I will take it. We can put that money towards more Kossars.
Okay. Let's take the money. The replacement's not a huge priority. Because we're going to get a relatively amount, good amount of replenishment from Erengrad anyway. And we're going to be here for a little while. I think I'm just going to keep this guy nearby to help reduce corruption. Meanwhile, we'll push those points into firing drills. Ooh, I should have gone Saliak again. We need to do that. Okay, well, unfortunately, guys, it has been my time, so we're going to leave it here. In the next episode, we're probably going to have to deal with Scarbrand, who's coming to say hi. It's going to be a little bit unfortunate. I don't know what ambush chance is like here, if we can ambush or not. I don't think we can, so we're just going to have to kind of encamp, I think, and hope for the best. Yeah, it's going to be pretty rough. Okay. Well, yeah, that's it. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Thanks very much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye. Okay,